Oh goodness, hey everybody. It's tricky to film at this point because nothing has unfolded yet and I don't know how the next week is gonna go, but I do know I'm gonna have an amazing time. So this is the beginning of my vlog of my trip to Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going to Nashville tomorrow. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to Nashville tomorrow. Like I'm so excited and anxious and nervous and a bit terrified I'm actually scared. I'm going to Nashville because I am attending Tommy Emmanuel's guitar camp in Nashville. How many times am I gonna say Nashville? <laughs> Some of you who've been around my channel from near the beginning, you'll know that I've attended a camp previously. The last camp I went to was in Maui back in December of 2020, right before the world fell apart. I have wanted to go to Nashville since I picked up the guitar all those years ago. I've never been before, but I know it's called Music City for a reason. <laughs> Just to go to Nashville anyway and just to soak it all in but to also be attending a guitar camp is so exciting and also very scary so I am scared <laughs> but maybe that's why I should go because I'm scared I feel like I've come a long way since the last one that video I filmed on my channel that I posted back in early 2020 of my experience at Tommy Emanuel's guitar camp I just feel like so much has changed for me. I feel like even in that video, I like my voice is quieter and less <laughs> about things have been given since that time. Also, that was pre-pandemic, so I think everyone is different. Everyone's changed since, since that time before. Let me pull up the camp schedule, talk to you about who's going to be there, what's in the works, what's what's being planned. You'll be feeling the excitement when you hear who's going to be at this camp and what we're going to be doing. Tommy is like the main man. Stephen Bennett, Pat Bergeson, Stewie French, Annie Selleck, Richard Smith, plus special guests Yorma Kalkinen and John Knowles, CGP. Yes, you heard me right. John Knowles is going to be there. Flipping John Knowles is going to be there. My husband, Ashton, convinced me, well not convinced me, but he uh, suggested that it would be a great opportunity for me if I wanted to go and that he would come with me. He was like, look, look how far you've come since the last one. Look what you've done. Like you're, you're singing and you're, you're making videos that you wouldn't have had the confidence to make a couple of years ago. I got so much out of the last one. Like even just being there and soaking in what you're watching and even just Tommy Emmanuel himself, just being around him can just give you so much. I'm kind of familiar with the structure and how the camp works having already been to one, so I'm actually not as nervous for this one as I was the last one, because classes every day with each of the tutors, like group classes, um, which I really enjoyed last time. Last time it was Vinny Raniolo and Frank Vignola. Frank in particular, I really enjoyed his classes. Uh, Brent Mason as well was at the last one too. But Frank in particular, he was a player that I wasn't that familiar with, but came out of the camp being like, oh my God, I love this guy. And I just liked his teaching style as well. Uh, just, I don't know, something I could relate to. So I came away from the previous camp, not really knowing much about Frank Vignola, but like adoring him afterwards. <laughs> so we're gonna get classes with the tutors I just mentioned. There's evening performances of the tutors. So Tommy plays every evening that we get to watch as part of the camp. And he plays with the instructors, like some, like he'll do a set by himself and then he'll do a set with one of the tutors or multiple tutors. Um, so that, that in itself, being able to watch that, is like such an incredible experience. RCA Studio B, we get like a, a tour of that. Also that weekend, Tommy is doing a gig at the Ryman Auditorium. So we get like premium tickets to that show and we get to watch the sound check and get a group photo on the stage with him and then watch his show, his ticketed show at the Ryman. Like, Oh my God. We're also gonna get to go to the Loveless Cafe and have dinner there. We just, we're getting to do so many cool stuff at this thing. Like, I cannot wait. Everything I just said is like public information on the website. It's a thing that people have paid 
to go and see or to go and do so they don't want you like filming on the inside and then posting that which I completely understand that makes sense so I'm gonna respect the event organizers wishes and like I'm not gonna I can tell you about my experience from my point of view but I'm not gonna be like filming the classes or filming the performances on the inside I think you're allowed to film them like for personal use like to use it to, as, a, as a learning tool um, but you're not allowed to like post stuff for the rest of the world to see there's another condition I think you with a tutor like you playing with a tutor you're allowed to post that if it's like a video of you playing with someone at the camp that's okay but you can't like film the classes and film the performances and post them so I'm gonna be respectful of everyone's wishes and not do that I'm not gonna be that person but I can tell you from my experience my husband's coming with me so he obviously he's not like doing the guitar camp but he's gonna be there with me after the camp is over me and him will have a couple of days to ourselves so we're gonna explore Nashville on our own which I'm also very excited to do and just enjoy Nashville for a couple of days I know there's so much to do in Nashville I don't think I'll get to see everything this time but it's an excuse to go back in the future because I have a feeling anyone who knows I'm going couple, the couple of people that I've told I'm going to Nashville have been like oh my god Amy you're gonna love it like you're not gonna want to leave and you're gonna want to move to Nashville out of LA <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you other than that, this is the beginning of a video and tomorrow morning I'm getting on a plane to Nashville. Good morning everyone, welcome on board. As you get settled, please place large bags in the overhead and wheels or handles first. Please everyone so by the time I'm filming this I'm already back from Nashville I did sit down to film something for you while I was still there I ate my chocolate guitar while I updated you on the trip but unfortunately that footage is not usable I filmed it in a rush right before we left for the airport I was a bit tired and a bit sluggish so my energy is down there was a few things that I missed also that I completely forgot to talk about so I'm redoing it now that I'm back I'm refilming this now that I've had some more time to process everything that's 
happened to me over the week and it's gonna be much better for you to watch. So before I get into talking to you about my experience at the guitar camp, I wanna show you the vlog footage of when we went to the Musicians Hall of Fame on the second last day of our trip. And it was so much fun, I loved it. It was the perfect thing to do at the end of the trip when I was still feeling really inspired and a little bit high on life. Oh, I loved it, I loved it, it was great. If you've ever been, you'll know that there's so much to see there. They have so many exhibits. They have an LA exhibit, Motown exhibit, Nashville exhibit. They have a load of different exhibits which display the actual instruments that were played on those records. And they had a great Jimi Hendrix experience showing his time in Nashville from Nashville to Woodstock. They just have so many instruments, memorabilia, equipment, costumes, handwritten charts, gold records, everything. So many of my favourites were there. Tommy Emmanuel, The Carpenters, The Beach Boys, Stevie Wonder, B.B. King, Tom Petty, Johnny Cash. Jimi Hendrix, Jackson 5, Chad Atkins, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, Elvis, Paul Simon, to name a few. Also they have Brian Ahern's Enactron mobile studio trailer and you can walk right through it and it's so cool. They also had a whole section that's called From Edison to iPod, which is the evolution of recorded sound and how we listen to music. From gramophones to record players to cassette tapes to iPods and everything in between. I was a 90s baby so I had a Discman and an MP3 player when I was growing up. Please let me know in the comments if you ever owned a disc man who remembers those i need to know they have a grammy gallery and a whole interactive section that was amazing which you'll also see later in the video and one more thing if you didn't catch last week's video i filmed a cover of an old irish tune while i was in nashville in the hotel room so if you haven't watched that yet please click on the card up here to watch it all right now i'm going to show you the vlog of our afternoon at the musicians hall of fame and then i'm going to tell you about my experience at the guitar camp at the end of this video see you in a little bit Look great under the lights. This is a talent that if I, I if I could go back, I would learn how to do. Would you? Yeah. Well, you're married to a piano player, so that can be arranged. You don't know how good this sounds. Or bad. Song I can play on the drums is 
Tempted by Squeeze. That's the first song I learned to do. guys enjoyed that as you can see we had fun so the guitar camp oh my goodness where do I begin I had a blast it was incredible so much fun learned a lot not gonna lie it was intense but I had such a good time <laughs> I really enjoyed all of the classes in particular John Knowles's classes such a sweet man just amazing to hear his stories and to see him play and I'll just never forget that experience. It was, it was great. Of course, I loved Tommy's master classes, really learned a lot, had my mind blown on multiple occasions, and he gave me a lot to think about, things I've been thinking about a lot since I got back. I've been feeling very pensive about my goals, my attitude, the things I need to do to improve my skills, and to achieve my goals. And these are all good things. I'm glad I'm having these thoughts and I'm just feeling very inspired. I had a few small but really nice interactions with Tommy. Um, he said he liked my mask. <laughs> all of the tutors were great. Stephen Bennett couldn't make it in the end. Stewie French was great and getting to see him perform with his family. They were so good and his son, Sonny, 
oh my god guitar superstar in the making. Pat Bergeson, amazing, so knowledgeable, so talented, and loved his performances with his wife, Annie Selleck. Great voice, great stage presence, and just, I thought she was really cool. <laughs> and Richard Smith, oh my God. So, so good. What a great finger picker. If you haven't heard this yet, you need to listen to it. Tommy Manuel with Richard Smith, Accomplice series, volume two four tracks on it. It's Chet and Jerry Reed. It's so good. Listen to this. Listen to this. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. As you can see, I got this signed by Tommy also, and I had them sign my notebook too. Last time I went to a camp, this is the notebook that I got there. And this is the notebook that I use to plan my videos. Ideas go into here. If I'm learning cover song or whatever, I'll put everything in here, I'll write the chart in here, I'll write the lyrics in here. Everything that I'm doing goes into this notebook. So I had them sign the front page. All the tutors signed the front page of my notebook, so it'll just be a little bit of inspiration for me every time I'm working on something and I go, go to grab for this notebook and I'll just be reminded of my week in Nashville at the camp and how I felt and how I was, how I was inspired and just my help, you know, might help me with my things that I'm doing. The absolute highlights for me though, the things that I keep thinking about and I can't get out of my head since, since I got back. The tour of RCA Studio B and when we went to the Ryman. RCA Studio B, where Elvis recorded everything from 57, 58 up until 71. The Everly Brothers, Roy Orbison, to name a few. There's so much history like so much history. And just being in that main recording room, just being able to stand in it to hear the stories, honestly, like it gave me chills. It did actually give me chills. I absolutely loved it. And the Ryman, the Ryman Auditorium. This might be near the top of my list of experiences ever. <laughs> so we got a tour of the Ryman in the afternoon, which was so fascinating. It was where the Grand Old Opry was for years and getting to learn about Lula C. Naff, who was the general manager back then. She was responsible for the Ryman being so successful back then, back when women didn't do that kind of thing. And she did it into her 80s. And then getting to watch Tommy's sound check, which that was an education in itself. Just getting to hang out in the Ryman all afternoon with all the other campers. And then the show that night, Tommy was just outstanding. I mean, he always is, but he was on an exceptional level that I've seen that night. Yorma Kaukonen played a set before Tommy came on and then we had a blues masterclass with them the following morning. Tommy's set was great. He played all of my favorites. He played Lewis and Clark. He played Traveling Clothes. He had me in tears on two separate occasions. He smacked his guitar a little bit too hard at one point and ended up blowing the whole thing, which he handled like a pro, did we have any doubt. But that whole day, and whole night was a highlight for me. I loved it so much. I was so amazed and so inspired and just everything, everything was amazing. I feel like there's still, there's still so much that I'm even just forgetting and these little things that happen that just keep popping up and I'm like, oh yeah, that happened. And you know, forgetting to say it to people and but just everything was amazing. I just I had such a good time. I met loads of really lovely people and chatted with lovely people and made some lovely friends. The camp was great and just the fact that it was in Nashville just like gave it something extra, you know, in Music City and in all that music history. It was just... <laughs> So I came away from my Nashville trip feeling very refreshed, inspired, just excited for the future. I'm excited to make things, excited to make music, excited to practice, believe it or not, and just excited to be on a journey, working on being a little bit better every day. Just excited to see where we end up and where we end up along the way. And I don't know what the word is that to describe how I felt afterwards. I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry that this video is so long. Round of applause if you made it this far and if you've watched to the end. As you can see, I can talk about this stuff for days. I really appreciate you listening to me and watching for this long. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss when I post a new video or you don't miss a new video premiere or when I go live. Links in the description 
description to become a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter if you would like to support the channel and also get some bonus content. Also, I have a merch store linked below, lots of musical Irishy designs that also helps me out a lot. Thank you so, so much for watching. Lots more videos and music coming really soon. See you in the next one. Bye.